Previously, on Mass Effect. I'm sorry. Do we know each other? Oh, I, I guess you don't remember me. Lieutenant Zabaleta? I, I worked with your mother. <laughs> You're retired, yeah. You know how it is. Times are tough for vets. They always are. Hey, call your mom up and ask. She'd remember old Zabaleta. You ever want to come by and talk, I'll be here. Huh? <laughs> Can't afford a ticket home, right? We're going to pretend that last time we met Zabaleta was very recently, but actually I've done a bunch of stuff in between. But we can use the comm terminal to talk to Shepard's mother and ask her about if she remembers Zabaleta from working with him. Computer, give me a real-time connection to the Dreadnought Kilimanjaro. I want to speak to my mother, XO Shepard. Shepard speak? Oh, hi. I don't have time for a personal call right now. I'm on duty. Got something important to ask, though. I know what that's like. Do you remember a Lieutenant Zabaleta from the Einstein? Ernesto? Have you heard from him? He was kind one of. of the Marines who guarded the CIC. We shared a watch. I lost track of him after there was an incident. What kind of incident? You remember the Batarian raid on Mindwar in 2170? You were in high school. The Einstein's task group responded to the May Day. The Batarians were still pulling out when the Marines hit groundside. Sabaleta was one of the first down. He... he was never quite the same after. Tell me about what it was like down there. I don't understand. What happened down there? About every abomination that a sentient being can do to another. To a slaver, a person is just another animal. And humans aren't always liked out here. We heard about corralling, uh, culling. They'd shoot those they couldn't use, implant control devices in the skulls of those they could, without anesthetic. That sounds pretty bad. He has post-traumatic stress because of what he saw? He tried to keep working, but it rode him. He showed up drunk on duty more and more. We couldn't always cover for him. The Alliance discharged him. Everyone knew he drank because of what he'd seen down there. Even if he never talked about it. Especially because he never talked about it. Tragic. For it to have affected him that deeply, he must have been a very sensitive man. He was. Always in laughter and tears. If you see him, tell him we still worry about him. Tell him to go to the Veterans Affairs office. I have to go. But take care of yourself. You're making us proud. Kilimanjaro out. It's nice to know you have people rooting for you. Even if you don't have living family, which by the way, if you had the Earthborn or Soul Survivor, what was it? Earthborn or Colonist backgrounds, then your parents would have been, would have passed away. Only when you are a spacer uh, would your is your mother still alive, Hannah Shepard? But it would be nice if there were scenes if you don't have living family where maybe there's just marines that are cheering you on or knowing that you're making a difference and maybe inspiring other alliance soldiers and stuff. Or people back on Earth, either one. Okay, not only are we on the Citadel, we are on at the Ward's Access Corridor, where Zabaleta is hanging out. Let's try and convince him that he should go to the Veterans Affairs office. Hey, back again, huh? I don't suppose you got any credits to spare. I spoke to my mother. She told me about what happened on Mindwar. Oh, did she? I wonder. People tied like prize hogs, locked in cages, clawing and screaming as they're loaded into cargo pods. And we couldn't reach them. The Batarian defenses had us pinned. Dozens died trying to advance. All we could do was watch as they hauled people away. I've been looking for 13 years for something to make that sight go away. What have you got, huh? You need to get help from people that actually know what they're doing. I'm not going to give you money to drink yourself to death. You need to stop this. 
If you don't have a better option, just give me 20 credits. A good bottle of whiskey. Enough to stop the dreams. Maybe you can see the grayed out option for Renegade. It says, no one understands why. My mother said to go to the Veterans Affairs Office. You're not the only one who's seen that brand of hell. They can help. The VAO? God. <sighs> Alright. If she wants me to go talk to someone, fine, I'll do it. For her. She always stuck up for me. <laughs> she always was naive. All the VAO does is pump you full of chemicals. If she wants to talk, tell her she can reach me through the Citadel VAO. Hey, we helped this guy out and we leveled up from it. How nice. Message coming in. Patching it through. I received some troubling information, Commander. We need your help. Someone is killing former Alliance scientists. There have been four deaths in the past month. Well, I think I'm in the area already, so let's help out. I'm happy to look into it, Admiral. What can you tell me? All four scientists worked on a classified project on the coups. There was a brutal massacre there years ago. An entire unit was killed by Thresher Maws. It was classified as a natural hazard, but the project dates coincide with the attacks. If you played the Soul Survivor background, then that's where Shepard would have uh, lost their family. That's that's the tragedy that Shepard would have survived. You think these scientists had something to do with the attack? I'm not certain what I think, but it's worth investigating. There was one other scientist on the project, Dr. Wayne. I'm transmitting his last known coordinates. Good luck. Good luck. Fifth lead out. Antaram is the planet we can land on. Clencory. Matriarch's writings discovered. Scans of the planet Clencory revealed the cockpit of a Volus trading vessel. There are no signs of the rest of the ship, but the salvage team discovered one of Matriarch Dylan Naga's writings in the ship's systems. An ice dwarf world. Almost entirely composed of frozen water. That's pretty cool. What about this one? A gas giant? Large deposit of hydrogen. You wouldn't say. Hydrogen is, I think, the most common element in the universe. Antaram. It's a, a, a verdant planet, kind of. Though Antaram's surface is uncomfortably hot, its nitrogen, oxygen, atmosphere, and abundant shallow seas make it an ideal candidate for habitation by most known species. Unfortunately, the orbit of the moon of Thonal has been slowly decaying since the system coalesced. Its proximity is beginning to have tidal effects, and its dynamo-like revolution through Antaram's magnetic field is generating increasingly powerful electrical storms. While some have suggested emplacement of mass effect drives in an attempt to lighten the moon, correct its orbit, the scale of such a project, tens of thousands of drives costing enough to bankrupt the governments of all the Citadel races, make it a pipe dream. A multiracial effort is underway to catalogue and preserve the unique genetic diversity of Antaram's vibrant young biosphere. Exogeny Corp and Heiyuan Genomics represent the Alliance's share of the effort. Well, let's land on it. My cat's sitting on my desk right in front of me. Hello. I know you want attention. Don't worry, I'm giving her pets. I can't show you, but... Petting her little head. Alright. Now it's time to go. I'm sorry, you gotta go. Oh, oh yeah, sad baby. I love... I mean, lens flare alert. Holy. Polarize, this looks nice. Let's look at our map. We have an anomaly. We have an underground facility. Some debris. Let's head for the anomaly. And I can show you in our journal. UNC dead scientists. 
Go to Newton in the Kepler Verge, find the one remaining scientist assigned to the secret project. We're pretty sure that that's, that person is over there at that facility. I'm not so concerned anymore about finding all the minerals because I found them all. Well, I didn't find them all. I found enough to complete all my collection quests. So now it's no longer something I have to do for completionism. But if I come across them, I'll still try and get them. Or I might pick them up before I leave the planet. But I was curious about this. Oh yeah, that's Turian insignia. And these are totally harmless, but let's go look at the bugs. Here's a small one. Oh, we can step on them apparently. Big ones. They're interesting, but they are, like I said, totally harmless. A Turian corpse. Recover artifact. Turian insignia. It's unclear what happened to this Turian. He had an ancient paper book with the Bostra outpost insignia printed on the cover. We never learn what kind of shape these outposts would have taken. Oh, there's another Turian right there. And another one right there. Maybe the bugs aren't so harmless after all. Might have to run over one. I'm trying to avoid damaging them. And yes, even though we did complete our collection of the Turian insignias already, as it turns out, there are more than 13. You just need to get 13 to complete the mission. But there are actually more than 13 that you can collect. Oh, lightning strikes. Very cool. There's a big valley here. But it looks on the map like most of our stuff was high up on the mountains. So we'll stay kind of high up. It should save us from having to climb more stuff like a mountain goat again when we get there. Here's the little crashed probe. You can already see on the minimap some red dots in the distance. And then we can salvage this probe. And straight ahead there is the base we're supposed to go and attack. What is up with those bodies? Are there already... Just dead people here, or...? My god, they're tough. <laughs> yes. Hold on. Let's see how we can duel against this mercenary sniper. Get up. Don't want to run her over. I just wanna I wanna knock her off of the off of this platform. Hang in there, I'll drive her another circle. There. Oh, that got her to fall damage. There is another sniper down there. I think that does a lot of damage, actually. Okay. 
two more. I blasted them off, but... I totally survived that attack. Not used to that happening. And look at that, they just take some shields damage, a little bit of health damage. There. What about you? Yes, great. What did we blast over there? Oh, it's fragments of one of those crates. And then I see a mineral right here, so... I feel like it's... Might as well go and pick it up. Palladium deposit. Nice. Well, and then I assume there's more of those mercenary buffoons up in that facility. I'm going to assume that those bodies that are laying around in front of it are maybe Alliance soldiers, maybe the defenders of that base. And whoever's been killing scientists is uh, the leader of that mercenary group. I can't help but feel like these are cool armors for Alliance soldiers, and we don't get to see that kind of armor again in the sequels. An upgrade kit. And a malfunctioning object. Um, yeah, we'll just take them and we'll sort... Whether we want them or not later. Whether they're any good. We'll ignore the H station. It'll have Medi gel, but maybe we can use it to replenish any. Okay, this is bad. Let's just back up a little. Let's see. Overload. I think we can lift this Krogan. Yes, that'll save us. That guy used immunity. This mercenary has been sabotaged, so he can't shoot. But I still have shields. I'm getting shot at pretty badly. Lost shields. I have to use something like shield boost. Don't worry, Garrus. You weren't in the way at all. Great. Oh, two dudes here. Lift. Sabotage. I need a barrier. Mercenary.
There we go. <laughs> Telling him to move up. Okay, great. On me. One enemy left. She says we must die. We have our full shields back, so it's okay. Take him down. Um. <laughs> Sorry, I was just like, uh-oh, panic. Sniper. Great. Lift is just too good of a, an ability. It is probably the best one. Actually, warp is also extremely good. But the nice thing about lift is that it lasts a reasonably long time. And it just completely disables them. And you can do it on so many shielded enemies. There's a few more crates over here. Crate. Predator H9 heavy armor. Predator 9 medium armor. Mantis 9 Krogan armor. Ooh, look at that particle effect. Why is that such a detailed. What is that? Why is that so detailed? It's like a th rendering of like a virus particle or something. I never noticed that before. I find it fascinating. It also seems way too... It seems like unnecessarily high detail, don't you think? Okay, equipment. Oh, so many more things. Survivor 9 light armor. Let's just see what it looks like. Oh, it's the yellow uh, armor. I like the yellow armor. Oh, we can give it to Liara. She looks alright in that. And then we can give you... Uh, more shields. Like, way more shields. Like, why not? And Garrus, there was, um, uh, was there, no, there was no armor for you. There's human armor and Krogan armor. We'll see when we get back to base. The heavy armor, the only person that can wear the heavy armor is, uh, Ashley. The human heavy armor. And there's nothing there. On the PC version, and on the original console version, I think... Uh, I could do a glitch where Shepard can wear any armor. So I can wear heavy armor. I can wear uh, other races' armor. I've tried it on this version, but I can't get it to work. And I think it just doesn't work on console, but I can get it to work on PC. It's not a big Stay deal, back. though. I've got no grief with you. All I want is this bastard. Please! He's a madman! Mr. Toombs, you're insane! You need help! It's Corporal! Corporal Tombs, you don't get to lie. Not today. Today it all comes out. Let me help you with this, but we need to all put our guns down for that. What all comes out? I'm listening, but I need you to put that gun down. You don't understand. I don't want to kill anyone. I, I want to go to sleep without screaming in my dreams. I want the people who sent me to Akuz brought to justice. Can't you see the Tombs is crazy? Shoot him! But if I can't get that, I'll have to settle for killing the men who took my life away. How did this guy help take your life away? What did the doctor do to you, Corporal? We were on Akuz. When the Thresher Maws hit, my entire unit was wiped out. The Thresher Maws. The scientists were studying them. They let them hit our unit just to watch. I woke up in a holding cell. The scientists were delighted I'd survived. Now they had someone to run tests on. 
What kind of tests are we talking about? You can't believe Toombs. He doesn't have any proof. I demand a fair trial. Ever had Thresher Ma acid in your veins? I have. They wanted to see what it would do. They treated me like a lab animal. I only escaped because somebody destroyed Cerberus, their big organization. This is justice. This man deserves to die. So, are you going to kill me or not? Well, that was me that destroyed Cerberus. This isn't the way. You're better than this, Tombs. You're not like them. Don't tell me who I am. You got away with a few scratches and a scary reputation. The rest of the unit died, and I was tortured for years, Shepard. You can't judge me. You don't have the right. I'm not judging you. Tombs, if I could have helped you on a coups, I would have. All I can do is help now. Let me. <sighs> okay. I'm no murderer. They couldn't make me one. Just as long as he goes to trial. Maybe the screaming will stop now. I don't know. It's alright. It's over. Those bastards can't hurt you anymore. Joker, tell the 5th Fleet we need a ship for pickup. Aye, aye, Commander. Tomb stares morosely at the floor, lost in his memories. You give the scientist a shove towards the door. Your mission is complete. The Alliance courts will take it from here. Tombs will probably face punishment for his crimes because he did kill some people. But hopefully so will that Cerberus scientist. Message coming in. Patching it through. I reviewed your report on the situation, Commander. I'm glad to see you were able to take Dr. Wayne in alive. Now we can put him on trial and get some answers. Corporal Tombs seems to have found some closure. Hopefully with therapy, he'll have a normal life again someday. Thank you again for your assistance, Commander. Fifth Fleet out. Glad we were able to help in some way. Commander, Caden here. Please like and subscribe.